wages is less than or equal to 28000 is eligible for bonus if wages is less than 7000 actual earnings will be taken for calculation if wages is more than 7000 Namaskaram this is Sheshadri from Ankal Enta you will see some of the definitions on bonus and bonus clarification we are trying to explore through this class in this video we are going to understand about section 12 that is bonus calculation bonus calculation understanding section 12 what section 12 says where the salary or wage of an employee exceeds if it is less it is not talking if it is exceeds 7000 or minimum wages of the for the scheduled employment then how the bonus should be calculated 7000 or minimum wage whichever is higher that is the section 12 gives us explanation so it is so simple let us understand clearly so everyone knows for bonus eligibility 21000 if the actual wage is 21000 or equal to 21000 then the person is eligible for bonus then next check what we have to do if it is more than 21000 no bonus so if it is less than 21000 we need to check whether that wage is actual wage is less than 7000 or not if no less not less than 7000 that is Uh, then we have to calculate on actual wage if the actual wage is less than 7000 then based on the actual wage the calculation can be done either it is a minimum uh, bonus or maximum bonus no the wage is actual wage is more than 7000 then again we have to check whether minimum wage is more than 7000 or not if minimum wage is less than 7000 we need to pay for we need to calculate on 7000 if we have minimum wage is more than 7000 we have to take minimum wages and we have to calculate bonus on minimum wage so simply we can say again if wages is less than or equal to 21000 is eligible for bonus if wages is less than 7000 actual earnings will be taken for calculation if wages is more than 7000 again we need to check minimum wages is more than 7000 or less than 7000 if minimum wages is less than 7000 then it should be calculated on 7000 if minimum wages is more than 7000 it should be calculated on minimum wages so it is simple let us see some other examples one person drawing 6700 minimum wages is 10164 so in this case actual wages less than 7000 as well as less than minimum wage so we should calculate minimum wage we should calculate bonus on 6700 next case actual wage is 8500 then minimum wage is 6903 6903 this in this case minimum wage is less than 7000 as well as actual wage is more than 7000 so which one we should take so we need to take 7000 so you apply that to formula whether he is eligible for bonus yes eligible whether his actual wage is less than 7000 no it is more than 7000 then whether he is a minimum wages is less than 7000 yes less than 7000 so calculate on 7000 next actual wage is 15000 minimum wage is 12662 so both are higher than 7000 so we need to go for as on minimum wages we need to calculate based on the minimum wages so 12662 into 12 so it is very clear let us see one case so ashok leyland limited versus industrial tribunal a judgment came in year 2000 so ashok leyland employees union enor made a demand that is union is demanding management 20% bonus plus 2000 ad hoc payment per head for the year 
so they are discussing many talks going on after the talks april 10th they are coming to the amicable settlement the settlement is signed on april 12 and payment also made on april 12 without any dispute any issues so section as per section 12 that time in 1985 the ceiling now see 7000 we are seeing that ceiling was 750 rupees so accordingly people who are drawing more than 750 rupees they are treated as a 750 rupees is their basic and calculated accordingly because there is no minimum wages concept during that time it was introduced in 2015 only so management is receiving april 19 april 12th payment made april 19 they are receiving from the union in case anything amendment coming in section 12 this agreement should be revisited then management is saying april 24 they are replying how it is possible as per section 34 we were clearly made as per the bonus act as on date april 12 we made agreement we paid without any dispute without issues it has been paid amicably settled so we comply the act as on the date of payment so it ends matter so that it will not be revisited in the meantime we have may 22 amendment is ordinance is coming section 12 is revised and 7000 750 rupees ceiling is increased to 1600 then employees will get more bonus so 1600 rupees bonus they will get minimum then they were raising for dispute even though that uh, agreement made as per act this ordinance came retrospective effect of 1984 also then section 34 is uh, complied or not that is as per the act uh, agreement is there or not on that day if you see yes it is as per section 34. but after the amendment ordinance it is not complied so that we have to see so employees do a demand is a, a larger amount of for bonus then the yeah, management is saying as per say, uh, that is a section 181 settlement 181 settlement we have made we complied the law finally court has given the judgment yeah, the demand of the workman that bonus for 1984 should be calculated and paid in the terms of payment of bonus act second amendment that is after revision amendment has come so th- up to 1600 that ceiling for that they have to revise they have given the judgment so section 12 is that much valid so we need to simply understand how the bonus is calculated with regard to minimum wages in this case any doubts any clarification required please call on us we are ready to help if you like this video please share to all hr fraternities and subscribe our channel so we will come back with another topic thanks for watching